Welcome and spoiler warning. Only watch this if you are happy to see something new inside version 50 of, uh, of Dwarf Fortress. Now we have a new spoiler and this is it. Okay, so uh, when we come into a, um, so I'll go through. So you've had time to leave if you wanted to leave. Now I'll go through it. This is the third cavern layer. Now I don't know if it happens on other cavern layers or not. Uh, when I opened up the third cavern layer, I got this typical thing. You found you found a, a, an underground cavern, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There was a second message which basically said that you found a an unusual or strange jewel encrusted obsidian wall, like a, an obsidian wall in through here. If I just go through here, you can sort of see that there's like a, di a green diamond clusters back and through this side. There's heaps and heaps of different, different gems. Faint yellow diamond clusters, ruby clusters, a very, very rich area. Ruby clusters back and through here, uh, faint yellows back and through this side, more all the way around it. And it's all around the subsidian wall. So we've actually found a volcanic area in the, uh, like, you know, fairly high up in the fortress, uh, but with all these different clusters all sort of leading in around a core area. Um, you know, it's only granite down through that side. If I go to one of the other Z layers, for example, look at this, we've got more and more of them on this other layer. So many different things that we can sort of see. What we're going to do is we're going to crack this thing open and see what's actually inside. Um, now, from what I've read, because I was a bit worried about it, from what I've read, it's um, there's good and bad. So you, it can be a source of good things and a source of evil things. So let's have a look and see what we end up with, uh, with with ours. Now, I haven't actually tried to crack it in from this side yet. So let's just see how we go. We're just going to go straight through here. So I'm just going to go and dig and you'll see that there's water through this side and then there's heat over this side. So it's a, in a weird combination of hot and cold. Hot in through there, but then water through here. So very very strange it's sort of um, and i don't know what the backstory is i've, I've got a spec i can speculate what, what i think it actually is like we know sort of where this is let's just go and crack open this one here so our dwarf is now just chopping it through and there we find a whole lot of different water but still we find all sorts of gems and things all the way through here as well this goes up a fair few different levels as we can see but again with more heat in different areas different pockets of heat keep track of these little pockets of heat because this is interesting here we go, here we go. So we've unleashed an, the echo of a forgotten divine retribution. So this is one of the little messages that we're gonna get. There's a whole lot of them. It's not just this one. Uh, I'll just click on okay and then quickly pause. Yeah, so already there's like a small, like almost like a demi, um, this is a dead champion maceman, for example, in this particular instance. And um, so a large feathered humanoid, it has a fat bulging trunk and it has a rattling exhale. Its slate gray feathers are long and narrow. It was created by the dwarven god Sinead and is a part which, uh, with, uh, it is a part with blight, uh, death, deformity and disease. He is quite clumsy. So these, this is interesting. So this is a, a dead god, this is a, a champion of a, of a god and it's a dead, it's a, an undead creature. Here's the next message. It is. It does have some good stuff and has some bad stuff. So um, deep within this strange place, spoilers, massive spoilers, guys. Deep within this strange place, we've uncovered what must be the, tre the a treasure of the gods. Uh, let's just go click on OK and see what we ended up finding. So Nogarolsa, extreme value. We don't know much about it yet. This is a, this is a singing metal morning star. All craft, uh, craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. Now, there'll be a backstory for this one as well. Like this will be something a god has created. So it's, it's very, very, very valuable. Very, very, very special. We are now sort of starting to see a little bit of magma. So there's pockets of magma. Some of the heat is created from demons that are protecting these sorts of things. So there's like there's massive treasures in here, uh, but there's also evil. So let's just go and find one more source of evil. If it's unusual, avoid it <laughs> until you're ready. Anyway, uh, something evil is emerging from this newly exposed pocket. We we'll just click on, click on OK. This is agile. It's a uh, tarantula fiend. So it's sort of like a, a, a demi uh, demon, I guess. Um, it's not as bad as the ones down at the bottom. A very large feathered tarantula. It has large mandibles and is ravening. Its black feathers are fluffed out. Beware its poisonous bites. These are like mini forgotten beasts that we're sort of discovering through this one here. So there's another treasure in through this side. So what's this one? Again, very, very high value. This is a, this is a large a large rusted metal head veil. All craftsmanship is, the, craftsmanship is of the highest quality. So there we go. So we've got all these different sorts of weird and wonderful things we're sort of finding in these jewel-encrusted areas. Definitely worth um, 
uh, experimenting with and playing with. Um, but as I say, heavily, heavily um, laden with spoilers, this particular episode. I'm, I'm, I hope that hasn't wrecked your enjoyment of if you do come across these, or at least the fun aspect of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but like I thought, I couldn't resist actually just showing you uh, what what this one actually has. It's it's sort of like the the value of it may be worth um, like once you've got a bit of a military, the value of it may actually be worth uh, trying to crack it and sort of see how you go. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this episode. It's going to be a one off. It's not going to be part of my regular uh, uploads, but it's uh, going to be very very heavy heavy in the spoilers. So. Yeah, too late now. If you've watched it, you've watched it. You've been exposed. <laughs> <laughs>